on here does this fall under that work experience yes because those are the roles i've been the uh the leader of or where i've had to use initiative or where i have the most experience i feel like contribute to the organization that i'm applying to okay so no but that you said that let's jump back up to the top you don't have an objective now objectives are optional but being that you said that these that you've listed down here are contributing more and targeting what you're applying to, what are you trying to get do? What is it an internship specifically a job? I would, I would say an entry level position, something of that nature. So to obtain an entry level position? In the field of? In the field of business management okay. and marketing. Now it is optional that you have this objective. They're not mandatory anymore. Mm -hmm. But I feel like because you said that this is targeting what you're trying to do, you might want to put an objective at the top of your resume so that this person knows, okay, this is exactly what he wants to do. So it kind of works a little better. Yeah, and like, I think a better vocabulary word instead of leadership, more so like work and experience might be like, well, right, and normally you can just put rele relevant experience or you can just put experience in general. Mm -hmm. So it's up to you. But if you want to just put experience, we can do that. Okay. With stuff like this, you have options, but you want to put what's more sufficient for the resume. So you got NCCU, Technical Help Center, Chicago, Service. Okay, so with your bullet points, you want to make sure that you at least have three. So if it's something else that you can put on here, then you add it. So you have specialized in solutions to student technology issues, hardware and software. What about hardware and software? What about it? Um, issues that deal with hardware or issues that deal with software. So what did you do for these? Did you clean them? Did you? Uh, clean them, cleaning, um, maintenance, um, repairs. Okay, so down here I'm gonna note be specific because just listing this they would want to know well what did you do with these you get what I'm saying the next thing you did was NCC school work study student of office okay now see this is more detailed so that's perfectly fine the only thing that I would like to tell you as far as your dates you want to keep them you want to go from the most frequent and go backwards so whatever you're doing like your current right now you want to put that first okay so you want to start in that order but this is perfectly fine and I would just say if you can go in a few more bullet points like a little bit more detail here that would be good as well we also have a website called own it 
www.thepositionthatyouhave.org. You can go on there, you can type in the position that you have, and it kind of brings up different bullet points to kind of help you fill in your job description. Or, you know, normally when you apply for a job, it might tell you where you're going to be doing this, 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 and this. It's nothing wrong with taking exactly that and putting it on your resume. It's not considered plagiarism. That sounds like a good resource. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, if you need to, I can print that off for you. That would be um, nice. Also, so for your skills, activities, and interests, you do not put your skills with your activities and interests only because skills are, they go at the bottom of your resume. And skills consist of fluent in language or software skills. So, let's see. Okay, so the different things that you have here, good listening skills, follow directions, take initiative. These are things that will be read in between the lines within your resume, not something that you necessarily have to say. So you can actually take these off. Are you fluent in any language or are you good with any Microsoft or skills? Because I know up here you said hardware. Microsoft programs, operating systems, um, as far as IT experience. Okay, that's and, so good. And then I do have um, I'm slightly fluent in Spanish. Mm -hmm. So you're conversational. Yeah. So what? You know, yeah. Okay. So I would leave this IT technical experience on here. If you're good with Microsoft Suite, add Microsoft Suite on here. And if you're not too sure about the language, it's okay to leave it off. The next thing I want to hit is your references. These are no longer mandatory. You can put at the end, uh, you can provide references if needed, but they're not mandatory to have on your resume anymore. So once you put your objective, it'll drop it down some. Once you add another bullet point, it'll also drop it down point. Another thing is your bullet points. Everything has to be consistent. So how these are over here, you need to bring them out. Make sure they're all aligned. Because although we may not look at it and be like, okay, that's something to bother us, they will. <laughs> but other than that, I think you have a really good resume. But something else that I wanted to provide you with. So you have your resume um, worksheet tips. Also, I'm going to give you something on internships. It's just basically telling you the point of an internship, what you can get from an internship. Um, the convenience of you coming in right now is actually we have a HBCU internship program going on. It's paid. Um, we also have um, Eagle Career Network. There's so many different internships like, you know, you have a major and a minor. You can go either or. You go on Eagle Career Network, there's different job opportunities. Check your mail, your email, and you always get stuff on that as well. Cool. I gave you information on bullet points, but just in case you need more specifics, it's a packet. You might not want to go read through all of this, but it's basically just know that bullet points are basically just going to be your job description and be consistent with your tense. And this is just something with our um, different events that are going on, January, February, March, April. Um, a lot of things that can help you is our resume covers. Um, our career fair just passed, but that was an opportunity where different businesses came and you could sometimes get hired on the spot, gather information, internship programs. Um, and if you're just confused about everything and you don't know where you want to go, what you want to do, you can always go on the Eagle Career Network and make you an appointment. Shannon can help you, um, Monica Stuckey can help you, Atia Wise can help you, and then um, Miss Dostries can also assist you with anything that you need help with. So it's kind of like guidance within career services all together. Okay. Yep. Any more questions? Um, no. I'm going to go back and work on this. If I have any other questions, I can just stop by. Yeah. Um, Monday through Thursday, 2 through 4, is our walk-in hours for resumes, cover letters, any other questions. Um, any, if, you're, if it's not convenient for you between the hours of 2 and 4, Monday through Thursday, you can always make an appointment that's convenient for you. Okay. Is there anything else you feel like I should know? Um, nope. If that's it, then 
just take these, critique your resume, and um, if you want to, you can always bring it back to get further um, advice on it. Okay, thank you. I like how hands-on of an approach the person who advised me on my resume took at NCCU. It gave me a better understanding because certain people learn differently, and so that really helped. I learned how to properly format my resume, and that information was beyond helpful because I did not know how to do it before, and now I have a better understanding of how to structure my resume. And I know that employers pay attention to that. My next move is to call my friends and tell them about the attractions that the career services offer at NCCU. But wait, I think they're in the speech center right now. Hey! 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 Hey!